Hello everybody. Quite a few people voted for lighter videos, so while an overwhelming majority of people want to see gas mask videos, I'm still getting quite a few votes for lighters, so I thought I'd just do my 2017 lighter collection. Now, as far as I'm aware, this is all my lighters, but I bet you there are still a couple I have around the house that I've missed out for doing this video with, and just forgotten I have them. So, what we're going to do is take a look at all these lighters. I've sort of arranged them into areas. We've got the petrol or oil lighters there. I've got more than one strike steel, but that's the only one I could find, so that's there. These are your more disposable lighters here, very cheap, nasty disposable lighters, two types of Bic. They, these clippers are refillable, so I've got a few types of clipper there. And then I've also got a clipper or two on the right as well, which I'll get to. Then we've got pipe lighters for the most part here, and just one of the metal clippers. And we've got jet lighters pretty much all on that top row. And then we've got, and that's just a novelty butane lighter. And then we've got electric lighters all on that right section. But I'll zoom in and then go in through each section. So first thing first, the oil lighters or petrol lighters, basically traditional lighters. First thing we have here is an Imco Junior. These are very, very good. If you can get your, I need to try and work out where the framing is. There we go. An Imco Junior. These are very, very good. If you can get one of these easily on eBay that's been serviced, definitely do that. All the Imco series of these kind of petrol lighters are very good, but make sure you don't get a fake one. They strike on opening. And I've only refilled some of these recently, so apologies if they don't light up straight away on the camera. The wick's getting hot, so it looks like it should light, but maybe not all the fuel has soaked through. Alright, I'll come back to that one and see if I can get it going. But normally that is a very good lighter. Then we have a brass Zippo. There we go. That's the brass Zippo going. Normal windproof Zippo design, just it's the brass one. The brass ones have tighter tolerances than um, the normal Zippos. So they actually hold the fuel longer, which is really nice. I've got the kind of brass that doesn't get too many fingerprints on it, but... I'd recommend brass Zippos over the normal Zippos simply because they actually hold the fuel longer which is one of the problems with these type of lighters. The Imco is very good in that regard when I can actually get it to light. Now we have a conventional Zippo, the one everybody's familiar with. There we go, there's that one going. Not much to say about it. Classic lighter, but I prefer the brass Zippo simply because it does hold the fuel longer. Um, so that's always a plus of a Zippo. Now we have the Star Lighter, which is a Chinese copy of a Zippo. It says Star on the bottom. These aren't pretending to be Zippos really, but they are um, basically just the same thing. That's not lighting up at the moment either. Ah, there we go. But as I said, bear in mind I only just refilled all of these to do the video with, because normally I'd only keep one fueled at one time. Um, to save fuel. Now this is very interesting, it's a peanut lighter. These are little small lighters with an O-ring, kind of survival lighters. And they hold fuel really well, so... There we go, he's lit. And I would say it has been well over six months or so since I last filled that. So if you're familiar with the lifespan of petrol lighters, you'll know that that's very good because most of these last a month, if that. Zippos are normally a couple of weeks. That Imco I've got a couple of months out of before. I've had a couple of months from this one before, which is um, a clipper metal lighter. It has an O-ring at the bottom where you put the fuel in. Then you strike it like a normal clipper. We'll see if I can get this one to light. said these are normally quite good but the issue being that I've only just recently refilled some of these petrol ones for the video so unlike butane and everything they need to soak through here we have these aren't very good so I'm not going to recommend this this is one of these survival matches it seemed alright when I first got it but then oh oh dear the sort of bit breaks off so um, yeah I'm not a fan of these lighters I can't even get that bit out now but basically you have a little metal match stick in there with some kind of inflammable cloth on it. 
you soak it in petrol in here and then you strike it on that bit and then it's meant to be a kind of survival thing but as you've seen that bit snapped off and a lot of the parts are quite fragile I'd rather just use a strike steel to be honest now I'm sure you know how strike steel works you just generate sparks of it doing that next to some kindling very primitive but very good right here are my sort of butane normal lighters some of them anyway because we're going to span a big spacer so here we go cheap crappy sort of poundland dollar store kind of disposable lighter you can turn these into flamethrowers I've done a video on that that's about the most fun you'll have of them they don't strike very well um, but you know you can buy them in bulk quite cheaply so maybe it's worth it for that of course the better disposable lighters are Bix because they actually light on nearly every strike and this is an electric Bic basically the same as a normal Bic but it has piezoelectric ignition or piezoelectric so that works as well the only thing I don't want with Bix they're not refillable but as disposable lighters they are very good ones now many of you know this will be one of my favourite lighters the standard clipper it's refillable at the bottom you strike it like that and the flame gets bigger when you turn it on its side so yeah standard clipper is a very good lighter not much to say about it you can use the bottom to pack a pipe it's shaped to do that when you turn it like that the flame goes bigger all in all a very clever lighter here's an electric clipper just a bit like the electric Bic, here's an electric clipper mostly 100% success rate but not quite however this one is refillable unlike the clipper unlike the Bic even, see when you have too many lighters in one video it gets confusing this is the exact same thing but it's got a slightly softer casing on it but fundamentally it's the same thing right on to the next lot of lighters so we're first going to look at the jet lighters on the top panel. Now let's see if I can get in frame so I can show you those. Right, so here we have a prof jet lighter. This is quite standard. You flick the top off. It looks like that. Sort of a blowtorch type lighter. Press it down. Big flame comes out. I really like jet lighters because you can they're butane so they don't run down on their own. And you can apply a lot of fuel to one area quickly. So on windy days they work well, and in general they're quite cheap to buy. Here we have a prof one, another prof one, this time it's an angled one. So it's the exact same design, but I can get it to light, there we go. It's um, obviously angled flame rather than being straight on, so it's a bit more convenient to hold. The only reason I'm showing you the next one is this is an older type model of those. This is a Kony, if I can see the brand name on it. Yeah, there it is in very small text. A Kony jet lighter. Exact same thing, adjust the switch on it and everything. But this was the first jet lighter I had, so I managed to actually find that because I was quite annoyed I'd lost it. It turned out to be in a coat pocket like a lot of the things I lose are. Here's the prof one again, but this is just a metallic one, which is a double flame one. It's just, sorry, I'm trying really hard to get the framing in. Um, there we go. Yeah, a double flame one. So if you just want to apply more heat to one area, you've got a double flame one with a metallic sort of casing. Right, now this was either a Kony or a Prof one, I can't remember which because the sort of branding's worn off, but it's a Kony. But this is a triple flame jet lighter. So this is basically a jet lighter which has three flames, although I don't think all three are going at the moment. That doesn't seem to be working too well, does it? Uh, anyway, at one point I did a video where I cut through a can that got incredibly popular and that this was the best light of that because it had three concentrated butane flames, but it doesn't seem as reliable as those. Now we have the Ultimate Survival Technologies Floating Lighter. This is cool. It's in a waterproof case that floats, and in bright orange so you can see it, you unbuckle the lid, and then you have a really good, reliable, when it actually works, jet lighter. 
The reason a light comes on when you use it is if it's in a very windy day and there's bright sunlight you won't necessarily see the flames, that's to stop you burning yourself and to tell you it's on. When it fails to start that flame isn't visible. Here's another prof one. This one is simply just sort of a Zippo type case, sort of flip case for a jet lighter. Very straightforward. The case isn't the highest quality plastic but it's quite a nice way of housing a jet lighter. Seems reliable enough. And lastly at the bottom we have the Torjet. These are very good. They're sort of more on the disposable side of jet lighters because you can buy a few for a pound. Um, and they make quite a nice big flame. These aren't quite as hot as some of the other jet lighters but compared to conventional cigarette lighters they're quite good. Refillable at the bottom but they sort of gunge up after a few refills if you're not using a more expensive sort of refined butane but for these there's not much point because of how cheap they are sort of buy five for a pound or two pounds, keep using them over and over and over again with cheap butane when they gunge up, bin them because you've got a good life out of them. Right, next for the novelty lighters and the pipe lighters. So what I have here is a shotgun novelty lighter. So I'll try and get that all in frame. And you can adjust the flame on it, but when it goes, so I adjusted the flame and it ended up not being very reliable. There we go. But I, because this has quite a long reach on this flame, it's kind of like one of those kitchen lighters. I find it quite good for um, lighting incense and like scented candles where you can't quite get at them very well. So this is a long enough flame to do that. But as I said, it's a bit irritating because since I adjusted the flame on it, it seems to misfire quite a lot. Honest pipe lighter, quite a straightforward thing angled flame because it's a pipe lighter. Piezoelectric ignition seems to light pretty much every time. Good, nice lighter. Now here's an IMCO but this is where IMCO went away from doing petrol lighters and started doing butane and they're not as good. So it's an IMCO um, pipe lighter. Sorry I just found framing really odd in this video. So it's an IMCO petrol lighter, uh, sorry, butane lighter, not the petrol one, straightforward thing, works the same way as any other sort of butane lighter, not much to say about it, although I don't find it too easy to strike and the construction doesn't feel that solid, as said, Imco are better when they did things like this, it's just a shame I can't seem to get this to light on this video, oh, there we go, yep, yeah, so, as I was saying, this is my favourite of the petrol lighters, because he's now decided there's enough petrol soaked in that he'll light. Wind resistant like a Zippo. But overall a very nice lighter. Here's some no name brand of pipe lighter. It's got a pipe tool actually in the bottom which is useful for packing a pipe. If that's visible on frame. I hope that's visible. But that comes out slightly so you've got a pipe packer. Um, but yeah, so you've got the sideways bit of the lighter. There you go, big angled flame on there. Quite a good lighter. You've also got like a spirit level on the side, so you can see how much fuel's in it. Again, apologies that I'm not getting all of this in frame. It's really difficult even looking through the camera's viewfinder because of getting the angle in. Right now we have a clipper pipe lighter. A lot of people have said in the videos they quite like the look of this thing. Not much to say. It's a metal clipper lighter that lights pipes. Angled. Very, very good. And here we have the standard clipper lighter but in metal. This is one of my favourite clippers. Lights every time. It's actually got the round striking wheel compared to normal clippers. Hexagonal one that's more comfortable. So more similar to a big strike wheel. Easy flame adjustment on the bottom. You just use a screwdriver or a coin. And yeah, not much to say other than it's a very nice lighter. And here we have the electric arc lighters, or various electric lighters. This is the V-Way one, which is the first one I got. Does its job well, holds a lot of charges. Got this one later on. It's one in the style of a Zippo. I like this one more because it's got better reach. We have the ones that are often known as Edison ones, although this was a completely different brand name on it. 
and it's more like one of the kitchen type ones but this is the most useful one in terms of reaching stuff I found people keep asking me do these work as a taser and I've done a video on that no they do not work as a taser you'll mildly annoy the person you're trying to shock with it um, and this one is out of battery but it's kind of a multi-tool one that had one of these um, sort of coil lighters there which was moderately successful not as good as the arc ones had a battery on it and a torch but as said it's not charged and it acted as a power bank with the plasma lighters, the electric arc lighters, people are telling me now that there are models coming out, so it'll be a while before I imagine they're widely available, where you remove a cap, then it's a flat surface with the electric arc almost directly flat onto it, so you can reach pretty much anything with them, and they're more cylindrical rather than rectangular, so that seems good, seems like they're learning their lessons. So, that was my lighter collection, I'm just going to try the clipper again in case that has decided it's going to work now. And unfortunately it seems it hasn't all soaked through yet because I didn't sod it with petrol. But there you go. That was my lighter collection. Sorry not everything worked properly and if I missed the framing. Framing is really difficult when you lay everything out and are trying to get it in frame even if you have the viewfinder available. But hopefully you like my lighter collection. And I bet you I still missed a couple off of here. Now I just put a bit more petrol in this and hopefully I can show it you now. Yeah there we go. So that's the um, clipper petrol lighter. I quite like it, but you seem to have to put a lot of petrol in before it starts going. But there you go, that's all of my lighters.